Hey guys, um, so today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite songs by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, which is Quixotic Elixir. And I'm going to show you how to play it, so let's get started. So the very beginning, it starts with a B minor. Um, you can go like uh, you can go up here, but you're not going to you're not going to go on the A. And you're just going to do these two uh, these two notes on the the uh, what's it called the ninth and the seventh of the D and the G. So it's going to be like this. Bring the B on the seventh as well. And then once you go right there, you can also go like this. Which is like the same thing, but it sounds a little better. I still like to do this. It's a little more natural, if you know what I mean. So it goes like this. Which is the 14th of the A, the 12th of the D, and then the 11th of the G. And it goes right here on the... Uh, Uh, a but up here so it's an octave and you're just going to strum everything down to here which is basically just on the 12th of the 12th of the A and then um, all the um, strings below that will just be on the 14th so it'll be and this is the strumming pattern by the way for everyone who asks me Sure. 
um, because I'm not good at counting. You go, instead of going like this, you go like this. And then you go back to this. You do it a few more times. And then you do this again. And then um, after that, you don't go like this. You just go. I like to sort of make the transition by strumming really hard, like you heard in my video. Like, it's, I think I just think it sounds better. So what we're going to do is just go like that. We're going to go to the B minor. Make sure Oh, sorry. Make sure to keep that thinky there on the ninth fret for that. Alright? And then go. And then do the regular thing. And then do that around five times. And this is where a lot of people get messed up because they go like. It's not that at all. You know that chord under the bridge where it goes like this? Well, it's just going to be down here. I'll just tell you real quick, it's the 5th on the A, the 7th on the D, the 6th on the G, and then the 7th on the B. And then just go down one fret and remove the middle finger. And then do it again. And you do that again, and then the drums come in, and then you go. Now, this is where things get pretty interesting. So, I don't know, it just sounds really cool how the transition comes. I think it's like one of their all-time best transitions into like this like awesome song. So, I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to show you how it sounds. So, I'm just going to do this, um, like a few bars of this, and then I'm going to go to it, okay? Stop. Oh. Sorry. So I'm gonna show you how to put that. So once the drum stops here, he's gonna hit the hi hat once, and then you just go into it. So the first chord is the F sharp major, and then you're gonna go to an A, then a D, then a D flat, then a G, uh, a E major, then a B. Same thing. Go like this, which is just going from the E to the B. And that's I think five times. Or you can go up here. So you can make up your mind on which one you want to do. I personally think that if you do this once and then you come up here, it sounds a little better. So that's just going to keep on happening for a whole bunch of times. Um, so, I like, um, he actually factors this in. Ready? And by the way, the strumming pattern for the other one was So now you know the strumming pattern for that, and now you know what we're going to get into now. I'm sorry that there isn't a solo though, because I really want to, but I really did not know it. There's no tab for it. By the way, I learned this all by ear. I just wanted to see the um, solo by tab, but you know, couldn't find it. 
All right, so the next thing we're going to do is, okay, let me just make the loop of it so we can actually get a clear idea of what we're doing. So what it's going to sound like is um, it's going to go from, which is the six. It's going to go on six of the G. This is all in the G, by the way. Then it's going to go to the nine, and it's going to go to the 11, 10. Oh, I messed up that. But you know, I'm just gonna keep on going with this. 